Kus. Hey, <laughs> just friends. Hello. I'm here, of course. These glasses are almost broke down. <laughs> Okay, tonight it's time for the Michel Tao game number six. Game number six, Michel Tao against Michel Butvinik match. <laughs> so, game number six out of the book, one more time. World champion Michel Tao best games part two, 1916 1971. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Have a good night. Happy to see you also in the chat. Hey, Taborich, how are you doing, guys? Hey, Sir Hain, Sir Guy. <laughs> There's a fly in my room. Jenny was first too, Mr. Jingles too. Okay. I will, oh, we have interesting events in chess.com too, but um <laughs> yeah, this oh yeah was for you. Uh <laughs> we gotta keep going with the book only if you agree, chat. So I hurry up to go for the setup. <clears throat> now I have to clean the board. Um yeah. Oh no, we have a game. Wait, I forgot what was here. It has to be like this, I guess. And Michel Tao is a white side, like this. White is possible to make castle black too. If I click here, what's going on? Yeah, we can already play. <laughs> Okay, we find out actually Bali was agree. He just said that there is a 1% for him to not play in the battle. But then probably people like Strider uh, were ready to play in this 1214 category. You can check out Discord. I uh, paste there the final team. It's about 13 boards, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so game number six Michael Tao against Michael Boot Phoenix. Start with C4. So, uh, thanks to Soltair, so we start with C4 tonight. <laughs> English opening, guys. Tao says he got tired of facing the Karakhan. Perhaps he was also ready to sail on less rough waters. It would have been interesting to see how the 6th world champion would have tried to win against E4. F5! Exclamation mark! <laughs> Move number one. Exclamation mark, guys. Okay, so Botvinnik regularly played the uh, island, Zhenevsky, and Stonewall variation. You know, Stonewall, D4, D5, E6, F5, C6. This is the Stonewall setup, so you can try spawn structure with the E6 and then D5, or you can try for C6, then D5, then E6, and then F5. With different move order. Yeah, we don't have this time. <laughs> <laughs> question mark exclamation and two question marks yeah so c5 c4 f5 probably interesting continuation <laughs> or or sometimes he's using variations out of that stone wall with the dutch defense usually reaching them through the d4 e6 move order so d4 e6 and then he jumped to the stone wall setup Tao faced the Dutch relatively rarely. He here is one of such example from late in his career. So he Tao got this before d4 f5. Interesting game, probably g3. Knight f6. This is his experience against Dutch. Four knight f3, bishop g7. Um, castle, castle. B3 to Fianchetto system, he's using to play off. Queen E8 system, and BD2. H695. This time, uh, Black is not using the Stonewall uh, setup, he's going to more like King's Indian setup. It's classical Dutch. 
First of all, maybe d6 and e5 is part of the plan, or g5. All the effort should be the king's side part. Hey, hey, Mr. Jingus. Hey. Resign, resign. <laughs> you hate f5. Oh my god. We should know that next time. I'm gonna play f5 and next time I'm against Sotar. <laughs> h6. Oh, next time I will be on 30, because I'm in vacation one week, so 21, 25, no streams this week. 30 will be last chance, 30 Wednesday, so I can announce it even from now, gonna be this classical simul. Hey, Jenny, hey, hey. Hope so you're ready for the battle tomorrow, guys. 8 p.m. set time zone, there are 13 boards, so you should be ready, you should be ready. And the 2 h6 95 d6. Why 95? Probably he wished to bring the other knight f3 and this one to d3. So on d3 is more centralized and more flexible. You can go to the left, you can go to the right. Hmm. Okay. Deleted. <laughs> okay. 95, 93, queen f7, e4. Boom. So, we have an e4. Oh, this is the stats about channel uh, viewers. Monopoly money. <laughs> Why not real one? You just don't have a go in front of you. Why not real one? You just need to have a plan. You can change it on the way, but you just need to have a plan. g4. Push, push, push. Eliminate the pair of bishops. Looks perfect. Now, why is it having a powerful pair of bishops here? Doesn't matter the g4 is a weakness, there are less pieces on the board. Increase your rating. It's okay, it's okay, Jenny. You're gonna be great then in this category. <laughs> OTB is hard. No, not so much improve, improvement there, because not so much tournaments, I guess, in this COVID time, Corona. F4, Queen g7. Rook a e1. I mean, my vacation will be most of all connected with the team competition, but we still don't know if if it's gonna exist such a tournament or it's gonna be more like joke. Three teams, five teams. For the ladies, is uh, more complicated in my country. We don't have so much activity. Uh, for the for, for example, for men, we have B tournament and we have A team tournament. For ladies, we're struggling to find out 10 teams, for example. Okay, rook e1, e5, push. Black here, breakthrough. This was, by the way, the game Tau successfully converted his advantage in Tau Mulders, Mel Melders, Brussels, 1987. One year before I'm born. Eight, 1987. <laughs> So here Tau won after D takes, D takes. Let's searching for an interesting moment in the book. And boom! What is the breakthrough here, guys? We have a diagram. What is the breakthrough here? Go, go, go. We have a diagram. Try to be active, chat. Last time we enjoyed with this uh, exclamation question marks with this bluffing method of uh, former world champion Michael Tau. Hope so this time we can find out interesting moments too. G5, boom! Oh, Wagner is here, our, our tactic, tactical ge genius. <laughs> okay, G5. There we go. G5, exclamation mark. Great, Wagner. Okay. And G5, you have ego problems. <laughs> H takes G5. So what was the idea of that sacrifice? Do you have continuation? Of course, it's not only to find out the first move, you need a depth continuation, calculating in advance. So why we need that sacrifice? What are the benefits out of this? I believe Sotar is also um, good in these kind of tactics, but it costs him a little bit more time. To be active, open the G file. 
it's okay to open up all the G file, but uh, what's going on afterwards? Just open the G file. You don't have a rook there to um, attack me immediately. So just open up the G file. I guess it doesn't work. F5 looks <clears throat> a little strange. F5. Queen h3, Jenny, e5 against d4, at 700, Anglun Gambit, Kitty is cutting. You can follow Amon, Amon Hamilton, who I beat two times in my life, online game. <laughs> so you can follow Anglun Gambit, Kitty Kuti, um, following Amon Hamilton, and this is the Chess Bra channel. Uh, he's a huge fan of this Anglun Gambit. Of course, it's not it's not correct, but it's kind of interesting, uh, more playable, more uh, competitive uh, Gambit. I can say it's Budapest Gambit. So first, you can try to play d4, knight f6, and after c4, you can jump to e5. So it's more um, more correct Gambit, Budapest Gambit, comparing to Anglun Gambit. I analyzed deeper Anglund Gambit because uh, I had an interesting student who pushed me to play Anglund Gambit with black. And I prepare Anglund for black, but I know very well that it's incorrect. Incorrect completely. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> black has an e4 now. Yeah, the, the, there is the e4 discover attack, but uh, guys. Uh, don't forget about that there's some capture here, there's some pins here. So after e4, you have in between check two, so you can get rid from this discover attack. So e4 is not, let's say, a fantastic deal for black. You wanna leave the rook to the h file, Saltire. How? How? How this could happen? <laughs> Explain me. How? Yeah. Oh, Jenny, don't forget about that Lilith and Maria are uh, uh, still, I think, international master. So uh, I beat Guni now. Okay, she blundered the queen, but she, she didn't blunder the other 20 games or 30 games, the, the queen. Yeah, she just blundered against me. So the position wasn't completely winning for her. I played bad, I am agree, but I beat number one in the tournament. So I'm more proud of this win, to be fair. Because she has almost 2,800, I think, or something like that. Uh, that's pretty high rating for me, and I respect it. In my also chess uh, online career, I have two wins against Alexandra Kostinuk. She's former world champion. And one classical win against Anna Ushenina, former world classical champion. So I have much more than Amon Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> proud of uh, such a games. I have great online wins. <laughs> so guys, to open up that, nobody find out why. You, you try to go to H file somehow, you try to do this, you try to push F5. The idea was to open up the diagonal only. I think Jenny was a little bit close to the correct idea with Queen H3. But it's not the queen there because queen. I'm not sure exactly what do you uh, do you attacking again. I repeat, e4 is not a real threat. Hey hey, lucky printer, be ready for tomorrow's uh, battle, please. Come on time. We start at 8 p.m. set. I have no idea how long we'll continue every single game. So just be here in the chat and support your teammates too. Bishop h3, boom, 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 Wagoner is playing like Mikhail Tau, Bishop h3, attacking the knight, great. So we keep going with the Bishop h3. There we go, Bishop h3, um, 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 yeah, he takes f4. We keep going with losing more and more pawns. <laughs> Check. Think it's shade. Rook 
cap 3 there we go we try to come here checkmate we don't care about this or either this piece guys we try to checkmate opponent Rook uh, f3, g4, we just take back with the same threat, check and bring the bishop back. Anyway, also the knight is hanging on all this way. I'm not finding an interesting moment still here. Boom, boom, here. Rook f7. And of course, based on the pin, we try to collect as much as possible material. So we just capture here. You will lose 100%. Oh, come on, lucky fritter. <laughs> I can I, I gonna change you then. <laughs> I can simply delay the board because I make them more and more and more. Uh, I said to myself, I will not do any more um, battles with more than 10 boards. And now we, you guys are 13. I try to put everyone who wish to play in the battle. So now uh, Tao successfully converted his advantage in Tao Mower to Brussels. This is a completely different game how he uh, figured out Dutch opening. Well, yeah, try try guys to win on a fair dessert. I explained very well why not e4 if you meant before. Let's say here if you plan to play e4 just because I have a check or I just have a bishop e6 again. So probably bishop e6 again if check. And now also queen h3 is coming. So if queen h7, I can simple trade off here and I can also capture here. You have to take with the knight, otherwise losing the knight, and then I can take a one more pawn. And this one is coming to my mouth too. It's too much uh, material on the way. Too much after knight d5. I just take these. Now I have an uh, extra pawn plus a uh, better place bishop comparing to this knight, and so on. It's enough advantage. Guys, in this time control, little recommendation for tomorrow. At the moment, when you have one minute on the clock, please start increasing the speed a little bit. When you have 20 seconds on the clock, you can start using pre-moves. Please listen to my advice. I, I have already so much experience. Finally, after one year streaming, during the stream, I reached my peak rating of 2467. I'm so, so happy in my last stream yesterday. So... Believe me, this is really good strategy. Try to play as fast as, <laughs> as fast as possible at the beginning. Okay, until position is familiar to you. Then spend most of your time in the middle game part. When you have one minute on the clock, try to increase a little bit the speed. And when you have 20 seconds on the clock, boom, 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 go for the pre-moves and win on time. Okay? Looks easy strategy, hope so. You're gonna listen to me and we can crush Luke Kuritza tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so F5. Let's keep going finally with the game Tau Butfenik. He keep going with knight f3. He prevent e5 because if black is going to e5, he can transpose to some better move order of King's Indian 2 with the f5, such a great benefits for black. Hey, hey, from the Angelica Chessborn. I was wondering who is this guy in this court, and I realized that it's Van de Van Krauss again. <laughs> Changed the count. <laughs> you don't look at the time a lot. Okay, this is kind of mystic. You should look at everywhere. Maybe you should start streaming, and then after one year, you're gonna increase everything. <laughs> Start blunder. Okay, it's not about watching where is my time. Come on, you know very well where you, where is your time. It's just downstairs, little 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 on the right side. So it's very easy to find out your time. I know the three minutes is hard for you, but remember, it's hard for you. It's hard for the opponent too. Please, no arena kings. Th there is arena king. I, I can I can join. I can join. <laughs> Maybe later. Why should they play uh, to struggle? Better to study a little bit something. Okay, g3, g6. Michael Tau against Butfenik. Game number six. Bishop g2, bishop g7. d4, d6. 
knight c3, e6. I have no time, guys, by the way, to read all these regulations of all these tournaments all over the world, to be fair. <laughs> Even for me, it was super hard to play this tactic tournament, six uh, hours. <laughs> How many? Four hours. It was super hard, super hard rules. Um, I think I never play in Arena King, yeah. But why should I play? Where, where, is, where is the reason for that? I can play against weaker opponents there too. It's better to change my settings and play regular Blitz. Why should I play exactly this tournament? Probably I should increase my rating much more and then I'll get the chance to play anyway against Kings in chess. <laughs> in chess.com. It's not uh, out of my garage, it's out of access garage, access present. We keep going with game number six one more time. <laughs> okay, we have, a, we have a diagram here, I'm not sure why. Uh, they talk about this set of guys. It's, uh, they said this is a little bit unusual. Unusual, but not super rare. But when he wants to prepare e5, he wanted to prepare e5 without allowing a disruptive d4, d5 along the way. Castle, castle. Oh. Wait, c2. That plays the most natural move. As I mentioned all the time, but people don't listen to me. Knight c6. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate your follow. Rook d1. So now, uh, they said that d5 is good. Alternative, when knight b4 is coming to us, we have a queen b3 reaction, knight e6 deflect now, like this, and capture knight c5, something like counter-attacking counter queen c2, you know, result in a slight edge and a safe position for white. So it's kind of self safe position for white no, no, nothing special rook d1 he tried to make maybe the game sharper rook d1 e4 is also possible so probably now gonna be the time for you where you should uh continue your attacking with more centralizing or with the queen side uh pressure like this b4 b5 push here the pressure most of all, if we accept that this is something like King's Indian setup, anyway, e5 will come to us, followed by h6, g5, g4, f4, um, probably we should counterattack on the queen side part. What in Arena King people with 1 4 we, we need? If it's about the money all the time, there is a cheating factor, so uh, I wish to avoid that if it's not a super special, famous world, any qualification tournament. Again, there is no guarantee there, but in the qualification tournament, in the final match, the final match, you can see the girls into the Zoom, so at least there is a little guarantee if you do your best to go to the end without cheating. Hey, Gazmak, happy to see you. Yeah, she, she said she, she prefers uh, 3 minutes time control. Actually, she said this is the usual uh, time control what she's using. And uh, I believe I should respect this and just uh, keep going with the 3 minutes. I said her my preferences, but <laughs> maybe she doesn't care. Anyway, everyone prefers something. So let's keep going with the 3 minutes. I, I remember that 3 minutes was last time a uh, catastrophic match, but let's try again. Maybe... That's the way to meet uh, the problems in front of you, not uh, hiding uh, all your life. Okay, rook b1. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he thought that e4 is also possible now. Uh, but black is not really threatening e5. Yet. So Tau prepares to gain space on the queen side before taking action in the center. Before taking action in the center. Okay, so e4, e5, he, he doesn't wish to do that. a5, he tried to stop b4, a3, 
Go, go, go. Why rook b1? Because of b4 pushing, he prefer a uh, queen side part attacking. Leukoridze, yes. Lile. Hey, PUC, happy to see you. Lile Court. Lile Frox, or I'm not sure what's her uh, name. Uh, why is b4 important move? Knight d8. What about e5, for example? Uh, e5, we just tick, tick, knight d5 is highly unpleasant for black. Yes, it's simplifying, but open up d5, we already got control on the d file, and we're dreaming to open up c file, we're dreaming to open up this uh, diagonal, much, much, much more. Yeah, you want to push, of course, you want to push as much as possible, b4, b5, and open up this monster and attacking b7 boom 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 that's why e5 is nothing special right now he just transferred the knight to the king side part e4 now choose is the right time for the central break probably after assessing b4 a takes b4 a takes b4 e5 so he doesn't wish now to allow e5 like b4 take 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 e5 push Oh, she, she's going to prepare the team in the last moment, she said. So, so she's going to prepare the team probably tomorrow. Stream. She will start streaming uh, earlier. Yes. In the last moment. Yes. Uh, I think most of the players are doing that, but I don't want to be under so much pressure searching for somebody in the last second. And uh, Maybe this is the correct way, because sometimes um, it's, it's happening for our team. If you remember that two people didn't come. Uh, so maybe they forgot, but I ring the bell on Discord, push you to come on time all the time. <laughs> e4, that chooses the right time. F takes e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, queen takes e4, such a simplifying. Knight f7. The opening has been a success for white. Tau has a harmonious position with good central control and Botanic will have to undertake significant risk to play for a win. Your question is why not bishop f5? Interesting moment. Did they mess up something? Or this is a position? Okay, so knight d8. Oh, no, 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 no. This is e4. Yeah, f f takes. It's gonna be right now. I messed up the variations, I think so. Yeah, they talk about now. Yeah, knight, knight f... Otherwise, I was wondering why not bishop f5. <laughs> no draw, no. Yeah, if I cannot prepare so well... <laughs> <laughs> I I don't feel good exactly. Okay, bishop h3. Strange move of Mikhail Tau. By preventing e5, Tau keeps black's position somewhat cramped. Computer recommends here another move. He recommends something like g4, h3, but also bishop h3 is part of this plan. Yeah, maybe we should ask Fandavani if he's going to play for her team. I'm almost sure we can meet somebody who is playing for our team in, in her team. So, anyway, uh, it's a famous uh, channel, guys. It's a famous channel. So, why not? <laughs> it's not a huge trick secret. No, I would be glad if we play more and more matches. Bishop page 3. Lille. Lille Ali with our team. Okay, so Queen F6. C6. Rook E1, they come on this variation, E5, C6. So keep C6 was keeping actually B7 weakness. So now what's going on? Simply fine here. Boom, 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 might lead to hold the bow and game for black. But his winning chances are virtually new. New? It's new. New is like zero. Okay, great. New? Just new? 
<laughs> I don't know this word to be fair. <laughs> New is zero. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so we keep going with the queen f6 continuation. Let's not mess up. It's bishop h3. Right now, queen f6. Let's go. Yeah, but neutral. Okay, neutral is easy. But why new? Yeah, wait, wait. Is it new the short word of neutral? Works fine. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice word. I'm gonna study English out of this book. Maybe I can make my language richer. <laughs> D5, boom! Exclamation mark for D5. But Vic takes the opportunity to complicate matters. Objectively, it is no worse than other moves, and it is certainly the option that best fits oh, his strategy yeah. of playing for a win. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, 15, 15 months of pushing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll be glad if one day you become a millionaire and you have more time for watching my um, streams. <laughs> okay. Great. Wow, 15 months. That's insane. That's insane. What's going on with your big bro? Your big bro, is he uh, still streaming? He starts his streaming career. But probably he realized that it's not that easy as it looks like. Um. <laughs> okay, so uh, feed strategy of playing for a win. Tau opines that C6 is more in the spirit. So probably Tao uh, suggests C6 like candidate move for opponent guys, don't be lazy, try to calculate also for opponent's continuation, this uh, is most of all happening in the classical games. You have many questions but no answers. <laughs> what did you, why bishop d2? Oh, sorry. Why bishop d2? When is bishop d2? Wait, we don't have bishop d2. Yeah, we have bishop d2. <laughs> Why bishop d2? We just developed. What else to develop? <coughs> the dark score bishop. And g5, we cannot. Bishop on f4, gonna be under attack of e5, probably discover attack, and boom. Bishop on e3 will close a little bit the queen, and he's like part of the pawn structure. So bishop d2 looks like the only one active move on the board. Sorry, I cannot read here everything, look at you, and at the same time play. You should uh, make, uh, when you have a specific question to the position, uh, you can color your message using maybe your channel points. Not collecting them forever. Gonna become a millionaire of collecting channel points. Bishop c3 is another threat, of course. You try to work on this diagonal. Exactly. Why bishop d2? But okay, if you ask why bishop d2, where else do you prefer e3 square? Where you go to the same color of your all other pawns? <laughs> your answers. <laughs> yeah, black, black could play a4, exactly. He played d5. He, well, this is not under attack, so why black should fix that? Actually, black is happy for b4, ab, ab, and he can reach the second rank. He can step on his neck anyway. Hey, Zlitch, how are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, Log is, uh, is holding on the channel point so hard. Uh, we cannot provoke him to spend them. <laughs> you have 700,000 channel points! Oh my god! And you're still not the Grandmaster after following so his stream so much? <laughs> okay, we're gonna check this soon, you know. When? <laughs> okay, so... Um... <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Ready to fight tomorrow against Lile Kurice. By the way, I was asking about penalty, so she she just declined. She said that this is just for fun, so there is no penalty for this match. Just do your best and let's crush one of the top streamers. Lady is in Twitch. And if six, but you do D5. Let's go back. Exclamation mark. 
So that was expecting C6, but but feeling is uh, not so calm player. Queen E2. D takes E4. <laughs> Who is close to one? Uh, probably Logis, yeah. Hey, hey, Jerko Poblanco, we have an upcoming sub battle on Thursday, tomorrow at 8 p.m. set time zone. <laughs> why not Queen F4? Okay, Ferdi, why not Queen F4? Come on, man, you're gonna lose this. Uh, so, if you wanna play Queen F4, probably should take, but after take. Probably black is having some more intermediate moves like knight d6. But after take take, also this is gonna be this cover attack, and I guess you can lose the bishop. Or if you go direct here, I don't find a reason why. Mm. Or maybe I can push. Push looks interesting. Or I can take and push. Or I can take and take here. This is not pleasant. This is not pleasant. Yes, uh, not maybe. Next Wednesday also we have uh, some battle against Indian uh, player. Uh, candidate Master, I think so. I gotta pay soon his channel and we can meet him. Uh, he's not a Twitch streamer. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit strange, but he has a power from YouTube This in this case. Frequent as his love life <laughs> inactive. Okay, you should be regular in the things what you're doing. Even if uh, you have uh, five viewers, what, what do you think? With how many viewers I start my streaming? Did I start with the hundred viewers? I still don't have a hundred viewers every time. But the most important is giving any content and being uh, regular working. So, yeah, hope so. <laughs> you can give back this time one day. Okay, knight d6 can be conveniently met by knight to e5, he said. So if knight d6 is going to go to e5, I'm feeling very good. dc. And now, Michael Tao is playing bishop f4. Even when playing for safety, Tao is not averse to some mild complications. Instead, bishop g2. He could go back. Bishop d7. We take c4, bishop c6, we need two. Now this position could be equal. So he go to bishop f4, knight d6, knight g5, rook e8. Position is very strange, but I can say that all this time Michal Tao with the white pieces is holding on all this uh, advantage. Yes. So the most important is to make fun or to give any content so you can work on yourself and at the same time giving some content to the viewers. Uh, your goal should be to make thousand uh, viewer subs like Botes or if you look at Botes, if you look at Nakamura, because you will never be Nakamura. <laughs> so makes no sense to compare it with the people uh, who are 10 levels more than you maybe. So. I guess you should look at yourself and giving content to yourself. If you have free time and you, you like to study chess, just do this in front of your viewers. Why not? Bishop g2. Why not what? e5? Y you want to push now e5. Yeah, yeah, but it's all about counting. Why not d takes? Is it working? Because there's some pressure on the f file, for example. So we cannot take right now. Yeah, it's gonna be this cover attack in between check. I see. Yeah, looks good, Wagner. Looks good. I feel like Wagner is ready to become a title player. We can capture in the end of B7. So now we have... Uh... Everything is equal, but these pawns are like very ugly. Maybe very ugly pawn structure. We're all very lucky to be not Hikaru. <laughs> okay, this was funny. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, e E5 is definitely interesting because it's this cover attack. Actually, computer here recommend B5, boom, and probably Bishop B7 as fast as possible using the weak squares of the white side. Hmm. Or Rook B8 and... Uh, well, at least protecting C4 because C4 is important pawn. One day he can push and create a very fast path pawn. Um, okay. Now, let's attack on the e6 pawn. It was just a brief diversion to bring his knight to the more active e4 square. Actually, he just maneuvered the knight to the e4 square. Before carrying out that plan, he sensibly returns the bishop to its best diagonal. Of course, it's h1, a8, the best diagonal. Rook a6. This allows white to regain the pawn under favorable conditions. Still, it's hard to suggest something better as the nature of bishop d7. Bishop d7 was natural, knight d4, queen e7, knight takes d6, not queen there, takes d6, cd, and we just take back c4 next. Okay. Uh, rook a6, knight e4, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. What you drinking? <laughs> What are you drinking? Big bottles bites. Yeah. You're gonna be happy with five fifteen degrees, okay? We have a we have about sixty or seventy like home prepared Rokia. <laughs> So, knight e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, b5. We keep going with the game. b3, breakthrough is really important. c7 and c4 are weak, yeah, but now b, after b5, this is uh, very close to be a connected pass pawn. b3, that will soon restore material equality, leaving black with a shattered pawn structure. Actually, a4 was... One idea better to break through here. And if can you imagine if black capture like this? What's going on with this pawn structure? <laughs> there are about um, I'm not sure how to say five pawn islands, and we have about five isolated pawns, <laughs> if I calculate correct. This is gonna be funny. Of course, black should support with c6, and then b3 leads to a slightly different version but is equally strong couldn't sleep after one li one liter of cola and six hours uh, chess i fe i slept like baby i don't have problems with one liter of cola <laughs> okay so b5 b3 C takes B3. What is the difference between watermelon and melon? Don't say water. <laughs> Aqua? What do you mean? What is the difference between? <laughs> Many cues of sugar and a great amount of caffeine. Yeah. Probably we need sugar for the brain, but I'm not sure if uh, this is in our dose per day or it's uh, completely out. It takes B3. Okay, there we go. We have pin here. Hmm, they talk about different moves. That's not so important. Rook B6. Queen E3. Rook takes B1. Bishop takes b1. He's trying to keep this rook on the d file, of course. <laughs> bishop b7, bishop a2, such a pressure. We still try to focus on the e6 weakness. Bishop d5, he's simplifying. Bishop takes c7. There we go. 
Finally, extra pawn for white side, guys. Tells position advantage turns into a material one. By now, Koblenz heard must have been beating fast as it became clear that his protege was almost certain to obtain the highest title in chess. A4 for black. Save up the pawn. Um, queen of three. It's something like counterattack here, either here. So if white capture, we recapture. We have enough pressure here, enough pressure here to simplify and maybe to make a fast draw. But then rook d3 leads to a depressing end game for black. So he may as well keep some pieces on and hope for a miracle. Uh, something similar happened in the game. A4. Rook d3. My phone. Interesting. Is there <laughs> rook d3? The same strategy. Tau thinks bishop f4 is simple and indeed after queen f5, king g2, rook c8, rook e1. We look about this position, so bishop f4 he count. Queen f5, king g2, rook c8, rook e1. White has excellent winning chances with extra pawn. Rook d3. Probably he tried to save up that. He tried to prevent queen f3. And now maybe queen could be more flexible after bishop here, after bishop f4. Queen f5, bishop e5. Trying to simplify. Hey, hey, Sabatashra! <laughs> <laughs> Grande. How are you doing? With the finishing line inside, it appears that Tao's nerves affected his play. Why nerves? Is he Tao taking a rush decision to trade off the bishops? Instead, rook c3, rook c8, h4. Instead, he could play a uh, slowly improvement the position, like rook c3. Rook c8, h4, push. This is the best pawn structure ever for defending, for attacking two. Bishop f8, bishop e5. Now he's ready for this cover attack. Should be winning. Black like, doesn't get the chance to simplify and the bishop so much. He <laughs> ran out of serious. <laughs> Okay, so nurse because bishop b5, bishop h6, amazing! Exclamation mark! Probably he miscalculated that move. Amazing! Based on the queen f2 and queen f1, puzzle rush checkmate. Suddenly, black threats to get real counter play. Queen e2, rook c8, queen, uh, rook f3, queen e5, the alternative is bishop d6, blah blah blah, queen h3, <laughs> question mark. But when he probably felt that Tau wasn't uh, at his best in the last few moves and got carried away to add to his walls, he spent 10 of his remaining 14 minutes of this ill-fated move. So he spent, guys, take care about this, he spent 10 of his Remaining 14 minutes. Come on, what's going on? He has 14 minutes and he spent 10. What's this? It's a huge, huge mistake. I don't think so. This position is super complicated. You said bishop c7 when? Do you mean now bishop c7? What's that bishop c7? It's a blunder. <laughs> Yeah, because you can smoke too, yeah? <laughs> Guys, who will find out now what's the best continuation here for black? Why would Phoenix mess up with Queen H3? Thank you, thank you for following. Why uh Bishop H3? Why Queen H3 is not that great?
So maybe I should flip the board because it's black to move. So what other alternative black is having out of queen h3? <laughs> yeah, too long and finally you go to the wrong plan. Exactly. <laughs> you forgot your ideas when you're running out of uh, smoking. <laughs> That's not so good. You know, until you're smoking, you can make some notes on the hands, like in the school, and then rewrite them, re re repeat them. <laughs> Rooksy 2, fair dessert, fair dessert, Rooksy 2. Rooksy 2, amazing. Oh, wait, you talk about different position with bishop c7. Okay, do you mean bishop c7 right now, guys? Yeah, but do you have a threat? All right, if it tick, wait, what a queen e5. First, I can bring my bishop back. A second after king g7, I'm not sure which variation you talk about. Uh, do you talk about this? No, after queen h3? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, uh, after queen... No, we talk about black. What's the best continuation behind queen h3 here? Rook c2, boom! Counter-attacking. Counter-attacking. Was the best. Botanic didn't play that move. It's best when my main line continues. Rook takes f5. Rook takes e2. Rook f6. Rook a2. Rook d6. This a3. Rook takes d5. d3. Rook f5. Rooks are strong behind the pass pawns, of course. Bishop c1. Little support. Now, who is going to be faster? I think black has better drawing chances than white has winning chances. So white is, in, in general, white, of course, is slightly better because he has an extra pawn and he stopped this pawn successfully. There is no way for black probably to push a2 and a1. Or also you have support of this bishop too. And you still have on the king side part extra pawn. So you can try to generate their pass pawn like this, maybe, or like king g2 f4 next. So we're going back to this moment. Queen h3, flip the board again and playing for Michael Tal side. Who is going? Yeah, who's going to find? Oh yeah, you found you find out already the move, by the way, bishop c7. Tau finds a brilliant resource that Botvinnik had overlooked. Two exclamation marks for the person who find out bishop c7. Of course, if you capture, there is a check, what you said, guys. But by the way, there is a checkmate. You don't need to take the rook. I think log is set, queen e5, and fork the rook. But it's not. Um... <laughs> so queen f8 so of course he didn't capture bishop f8 that mentions that queen d7 is more resilient it needed prevents a direct invasion but would not save the game bishop f4 Bishop g7, rook e3, rook c1, king g2. Wait, how king g2? Wait, it's completely different. Oh, they talk about, sorry, they talk about queen d7. So, queen d7, I'm drunk. Uh, bishop f4 now, <laughs> bishop g7, rook e3, some pressure here, here, here. Rook c1, king g2, bishop takes d4, rook e8, king f7, only one move, and then boom! I'm reading Bihotao uh, Best Games Part 2, VJ. You can look at Part 1 lesson in my YouTube channel. Completely for free. Don't forget about the crush, the button, like, and subscribe, too. So, bishop takes e1, now this was discover attack. 
takes e1, e8, sorry, queen f3, bishop f6, and we just take this. We have the same color of bishops, and we just need to trade off the queens and go into the bishop completely winning a endgame. White should win. So now white should win. Analyzing games. Uh, yeah, just read the book for the moment. It's also something new for me, something new probably to the viewers. Um, yeah, I don't copy anyone, I guess. I just do whatever I'm, I'm feeling good. So it's useful for me, I guess. It's useful for you. Uh, we find out interesting things in the book too. <laughs> this is the present. This is the present from somebody of you in the chat, Axis. Okay, we keep going oh, with the bishop c7. Yeah. DJ, you're up. Thanks to Taburic. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Huge thanks. Hey, Chess Togo, how are you doing? So, bishop c7. Bishop f8. It keeps going back. Queen b5! Exclamation mark. Increasing the pressure and trying to reach e8, of course. Trying to capture d5 at the same time. So many threats on the way. The queen invades. Queen e6, bishop e5. Finally, we should take care about the bishop. <laughs> what is Amazonkas? Amazonkas is the best team in the world. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. Uh, well, this is how my team is calling, just a name, and I like that because many people in the past, probably when I was uh, in my teenager period, like, uh, uh, not more aggressive chess player, but let's say attractive chess player, active chess player, some people call me like this too, like Amazonka, you know, Amazonkas like to attack the man, and most of all, we have a little discrimination in chess, like more supporting men because they're much more like counting uh, ladies are a little bit less so for the ladies is uh, one idea harder to start playing chess to keep on with chess and so on many many factors many factors okay so you should be a great fighter uh keep going with the chess career and i'm doing that 28 years so i guess it's a great honor What's up, chat? What's up, surprise? <laughs> What's up, surprise? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bishop e5. Okay, let's go. Queen c6. Queen a5. You avoid trading of the queens because he's still not that confident that he can win this endgame after trade-off. Probably black will find out a counter-attack. Also, this pawn is under attack. All the white pawns now on d4 and a3 are like the same color as this bishop, so for some point this is good that we protect d4, but in the other hand, this bishop is attacking this pawn very well. So at the moment when black try to deflect this rook, white will not feel so comfortable. Uh, hey, Solara! Solaris! Probably somebody gave you gift. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you. That you're part of this channel anyway. That's why he preferred to keep the queens on the board. Rook a8. Oh, Tao mentioned that line. Bishop takes a3, rook takes a3, queen c1. That's exciting. King g2. Queen takes a3, queen takes d5. King of eight, boom! Bishop d6. Because only one move and now boom! There is a fork. There is a fork. Your motor sense. Wow, so nice, so nice surprise. Take care with the motors. They're not my favorite uh, drivers, <laughs> to be fair. They're very loud and uh, super crazy. This I, I talk about big motor motorbikes. So Tao count this, but. Of course, Botvinnik didn't go to this super force line and losing that. Few blundering time travel. <laughs> Queen d2. Rook c8. Oops. Rook c8. 
G2, Queen D7. Queen D7. H4, as I mentioned before, this is one of the strongest pawn structure ever. Um, <clears> Tau <throat> prepares to break open Black's kingside with the H pawn, but when it's sealed, Queen G4. So Queen G4. Um, but the next morning he resigned without resumption. Tao considers this game his best creative achievement in the match. He was especially proud of it as he had little experience with positions of that type. I, by the way, guys, I don't read the everything out, everything in the book. I try to read on the diagonal way. Of course, I missed some of the variations too. What I think so, they're not that uh, impressive. So yeah, so the question will be why why Botvinnik play Queen G4 and after the break, even before finishing the break, he resigned. What's your opinion, chat? And we jump to the next game. Why Botvinnik immediately after he uh, take this decision of the Queen G4? Why Botvinnik resign after Queen G4? Guys, don't you don't, don't you read the the to topic of the stream? Don't you read uh, the topic of the stream? See Discord. What do you mean? See Discord. What to see in Discord? Queen D1 only. Oh, no thinking, Logis. Of course, no, 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 no thinking. You can make a poll, but see Discord, Petrosan. Guys, why now? Uh, black resign automatic before keep going with the with the game the next move of Tao at least. Book picture? Oh. Book picture? I didn't go to the book channel a long time ago. Complete games of Mika. Yes. <laughs> oh, but this is chapter two. <laughs> yes, I saw that. I think I saw that. Of Mr. Jingles ordered the book. Happy to see you. Okay, um, so guys, I'm waiting for suggestion. Is it the Queen D1 move what uh, Mikhail Butvinik uh, resigned of? Scary of? Eva coach one of her adult students. <laughs> You wonder, but you didn't uh, color your message, so I don't need to answer it. <laughs> I have many, I, I have no idea. Maybe I should oh, make uh, yeah. good stats about that. Hey, Jaxer, thanks for the great gifting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so long ago. 21, 24. 21, 24, yeah. Queen B2, Queen B7. You want to go there? Mm hmm. Queen B to Queen B7. Okay. Guys, don't forget about... <laughs> Yay! Push Logis to use his uh, channel points to color highlight his message. <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, plus 13. Do, do, do you know what? All of you probably know my age, and I don't know so much your age, to be fair. I don't ask my students uh, such a questions. I, uh, for example, I have one student from 
probably from already five years or even six one of my first students is still with me and i still don't know his age can you imagine so about age i cannot answer so much but i have people uh over 2000 yes and the problem is uh i have also many many beginners so this rating range could be for uh, five six people maybe only or maybe more i have to count 38 <laughs> 19 you're gonna cheat me! You're gonna cheat me! 19. <laughs> okay. Rupix F8, Queen H6. Oh, Reodor, isn't it this too much? Don't forget about that. You can subscribe for my channel completely for free if you have an Amazon Prime. Click on this link below. You're plus 30. <laughs> plus 30 and plus 40 is a little bit different. Yeah. I think Jackson Cross 2000 also, no? So Jackson Cross in Lee Chess 2000, depends on which rating you talk about. I will talk about OTB because now in this Corona COVID uh, period, most of the people don't take a part in the tournaments. Also, I don't take a part in the tournaments just because we don't have tournaments, <laughs> not online. OTB is hard. Most of the people will subscribe for some le lessons just for fun and just to increase their online rating most of all and just to uh, update their chess level to understand chess much much better or just play for a hobby, not for competitive playing, not reaching some goal like rating. I think people's goal, goal is not really so much about the rating. I try to push them to most of all to make fun with chess. Queen f5, queen d7, queen b6. You want to go here, okay. And then queen f6. Yeah, and then you can checkmate me. Yeah, it looks funny. <laughs> but what about queen d7 and bishop g7? Maybe barrier successful? In the other case, it looks one of the best uh, strategy of white. I uh, completely agree. Guys, we have about three moves here, uh, or even more. Queen d3. <laughs> What's the plan of that? Probably queen b5. We just try to win this maybe? Or also we, we want to go to a6. It's such a pressure here, pressure here. a6 is something like e square. And again, we can jump to the checkmate or pressure on the f file. So queen on f5 uh, could be one of the key square. A, a6 or a5. We can also go there here, of course. Queen d7, and then we can keep going with the queen a6 or queen b6. Queen a6 with the same pressure, exactly. The same plan. Um... <laughs> what else we have? We have a queen e2. We don't know how they continue, just but Phoenix resigned before that. Queen e2 uh, is with the triad rook, takes f8, discover, attack. Winning the queen and keep going with the pushing of h5. h5 is anyway part of our plan because little before, don't forget about your previous plan. When you start creating a plan, you should keep going it and you can just update it, change it on the way, depends on the opponent's answer. So h4, h5, uh, h4 was our almost last move, yeah. So when he removed the queen, again a6, we can keep going with the key square. We can keep going with the h5 breakthrough. We have a pawn majority on the king side part, so nobody share with me this plan that we can keep going with the h5 pushing. This is one of the best. Okay, match conclusion. <laughs> In my opinion, Tao produced more imagine imaginative chess at the Zagreb Belgrade candidates blood tournaments in 1959. <laughs> back in Riga, when Tao's train arrived back in Riga, a large crowd had gathered to celebrate the success of Latvia's national hero. Latvia's national hero. The arena logis. Yeah, you can you can uh, become a title online player 
using Arena Fide tournaments as Jaxer do, do it. <laughs> this could be another website, another platform, what you can use it for. Both the stops, it's hard to contact them. Probably we should pay for them <laughs> to contact with them or to make a battle. But Jenny, you can try, you can, tr you can push them. Uh, I remember that when I started streaming, first time, not successful try, I tried to make a match with Elizabeth Pats. Then it was down. Looks like Elizabeth Pats is not my luck, to be fair. It was it was destroyed. It was unlucky completely. I couldn't turn on the system, how to say. <laughs> and uh, the match was a mistake at all. Next try of me was uh, somehow to contact with both the sisters. By the way, in this time, they have not more than 1,000 viewers. I'm sure about this. It was a year and something ago. And I contact with them in uh, Slack. We have a chess.com community, Slack, she answered me. And then uh, we, we've been in the middle of nowhere because she was accepting my match requests, but then she just didn't come. So, <laughs> uh, I guess we should, uh, we should try several more times to contact with these ladies, if only they wish to make something together. I don't want to push to bother the people so much. Uh, like asking 10 times if they don't want it's it's fine for me game number seven guys let's move this to the library Michael Tao. six games yeah okay now i just leave and go to the not here i should go to the analysis mm -hmm. Not here, I'm all the time confused. No, not here. Okay, I go to the analysis then. One seven, two thousand. Okay, setup. This is game number seven. Michael Tao, Heinz, Lechman. Finally, somebody who is not. <laughs> somebody who is not. Um... So famous. Knight 396. Michael Tau, uh, Heinz Lechmann, Hamburg 1960. We have a Rui Lopez on the board. Knight of 6 Castle. It should be 7. Classical variation. Tau writes that Lechmann took a cigar at this point in, in the game. Tau had first started smoking when he was suffering from health problems in blood so 1960 are coming the probably one of the first problems of uh michael tau because of smoking <laughs> I, just, I just have three games <laughs> yeah yeah on a zoom off how are you doing dobro vecchio on a zoom off как дела a journalist offered him a cigarette. Tao accepted. And he liked it. <laughs> From that day on, Tao would often borrow a cigarette, although he didn't smoke during the match games against Botvinnik. By the way, great note about that. He didn't smoke the match against Botvinnik in that time. Before the present tournament, Tao asked his countryman, Geller and To. Tolush not to give him a cigarette, no matter how many times he asked. <laughs> so he, he make a, you know, he block himself, he try to control himself, like said to the people who are helping him to uh, not allow him uh, to have a weak angels and ask, ask them for cigarettes. Okay, rookie one, b5, gb3. But drugs are drugs, yeah. You cannot stop yourself, probably. D480. This is the 
Rui Lopez uh, opening more free defense floor Zaitsev system. The main line is Rui Lopez. One of the main ones. So, but now D5, of course. E5. 94, 93. Activity of black. Push. F5. Yeah. It's not Berlin. Wait, why Berlin? It's Rui Lopez. <laughs> Jackson is riding down on uh, Russia. Jackson has some connection with Russia. Ampersand, Bishop takes f6. By the way, white is already better. Um, Tau recalls that he was able to resist temp temptation for a total of 10 moves after Lechman first brandished his cigar. <laughs> <laughs> this game gonna talk about cigarettes. We can go to the next one. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, this may be interesting. By this point in the game, unable to stand the frustration any longer, he went and badged his teammates one by one for a cigarette. Each one spread his arms. Sympathetically, Misha, you told us not to give you any. So Tao dashed to the bar and bought a packet of his own. As he put it, he officially became a smoker in Hamburg. <laughs> so nobody could stop him. And that's why he's former world champion. Which game this in the championship? Uh, West Germany US USSR match Hamburg. It's match in Hamburg. Group G4 um, CD Bishop G5. So now black is having guys related pawn. Yeah, Berlin system is direct knight f6, yeah. He messed up with Rui Lopez because he's not so much like e4 player. <laughs> because capture c6 is too simplifying, too simple variation log. Is we try to go to deeper theory with bishop a4. Bishop a4 is the main line in Rui Lopez. Huge theory there. Not... I'm not really sure which one is bigger. Probably Sicilian is... Yeah, Sicilian is much bigger than Rui Lopez. But in Rui Lopez also, there is so much depth. So much variations. Jaxor has a great connection with the Russia, yes. If he decides, he's going to share. If not, <laughs> he's gonna suggest. <laughs> okay, so Queen takes b2. Now the board is clear. Come on, he's the greatest uh, Nimno, Nimnoška, Nimnoška. He's the greatest collector of the books. How he shouldn't know um, Russian a little bit? Italian. Perché? Perché? Basta. Come stai? Perché four? Boom. Counter attack, guys. Counter attack because of the weak back rank. Just as in many games from his junior years, Tao explores the weak back rank by exchanging the F8 rook. He further exposes Black's king. Bellissimo. Yes. Yeah, is a chow ruski. Three god of universite. He studied Russian three years in the university. Does Jackson know Spanish as well? Uh, I have no idea <laughs> about this Spanish. But Spanish is one of, or Italian is one of my favorite language too anyway. Spanish, Russian and probably German, no? The languages? I don't know. What about German? Piquito. <laughs> Queen B4, such a defending move, like counterattack here now. This is hanging, this is hanging, this is hanging. So so much complications here. Lechman finds a tactical solution of his own, which indirectly, by the way, this is a little bit under pressure, defends the A6 pawn. 
H6, of course, was another idea right now. Uh, but black remains in trouble after rook takes f8. Rook takes f8, queen d6, double attack, rook a8, knight h4. So now combined both pieces, queen and knight, it's gonna be dangerous attack against the black king. Boom! Bring the rook. Black is unlikely to survive the attack. Wow, you took four languages, five languages in school? German, Russian, Spanish, Italian, and French? Whoa! A little Romanian? Oh my god, you got crazy. You go, you go to the crazy study. Alright, so we take an F8. Mr. Lechman capture back. Rookie 6. We're trying to collect as much as possible. Tau goes after the a6 pawn. Queen f4. By the way, queen c4 was an exclamation mark. Was the best defensive try. Sacrificing a pawn in order to exchange queens. After queen takes, knight takes, rook takes a6. So he's hoping to survive here. Black faces an unpleasant endgame. But he can offer some resistance by attempting to eliminate the queen's side pawns. So if you trade off this for this, you know, guys, just there there will be three against two. So there is a hope for black to survive with draw. But he, he's using to play queen f4, who takes a6, of course, exclamation mark. In taking the pawn, Tao once again exploits his opponent's weak back rank. Queen c1, h2, queen f4. G3, push, queen c4, but probably now is one tempo down. I hate French language. Hey, hey, Anton Korobev, how are you doing? <laughs> of course I'm not, <laughs> of course I'm not, but thanks for the compliments anyway. <laughs> queen d2. Despite being a pawn up, Tau keeps the queens on the board in order to go after Black's king. Knight b7. Such a long game. Or such a long co comments, most of all. Rook a7. Knight c5. Belgium. Second language. <laughs> Be Belgium, I have no idea, but... French, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, he's the real Anton Corbio because he contacted with me in um in in chess.com. Yeah, very glad to have uh, him in the chat. He can adopt me, maybe ten zero. I'll be glad. I'd be glad if somebody adopt me 100-0, but I, I guess it's not existing person like this. I, I'm gonna take one draw <laughs> out of 100 games, even against Nakamura. Belgium is French plus Dutch. Wait, is Lovis knowing a French language? If, if Logis knows French language, I'm gonna jump five times, come on. Yeah, avoid. I avoid adoption of Atomic, yeah. Un peu? <laughs> What's mean that? I'm very bad at French. Bonjour. Bonjour. I hate this. I hate it. Probably, probably I just have a bad memory, bad tournaments in France, so... Yeah. Lecola. Oh, wait, but Jenny, we have a Jameer. We have Jameer, so he's a... We have... Great. Yeah, we didn't ask him. But probably Anton Kurbyov is more busy than Jameer. <laughs> Everyone in Belgium is knowing French. Oh!
Yeah, I know. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. Just woke up. <laughs> Six out of ten. Okay. When I one question mark. Who is going to find now chat? What's the best continuation for white? We have a position here. We have a diagram. How Tao takes complete advantage. So there is a danger here. What you gonna do, guys? <laughs> Dutch, French, and German. I have I have a feeling that Logis is more having accent of uh of German, no, but not French. But yeah, maybe maybe sometimes of uh uh. Finally, I didn't get the answer. I got some French answer, but I don't know. If Logis is knowing Russian, uh, French. He didn't move his king. <laughs> You're sure about that? He didn't move his king. That's great. Kramnik Karpov. No boring games. V VJ. No boring games. No. No boring games. <laughs> nope. So what was this language? What you write down, or you just use uh, Google Translate with the front size. Rook F7, chest ago is our hero in the chat. Rook F7, of course. Rook F7 is the best continuation. You think the back rank um, um, attractive? Now deflection thing so ninety six and at the same time keeping uh, keeping successful f two and of course it's active defense move twenty four indeed but now not ninety six we trade off and then twenty four great ninety six twenty seven h six boom boom. We don't need, of course, the knight because there is a perpetual check here, guys. So take care, please. 97. Most famous setup. Black resigned. Oh, by the way, the last trick. Last sneaky trick. Queen takes h3 with the hope that you're gonna take a knight g5 fork. So, guys, if you fall asleep for one second in chance, if you take a just one wrong decision if you touch one wrong piece the game is over of course white should continue with the king g1 h5 there is no more checkmate so what, what should be the best here yeah now maybe it's interesting this continuation How, what is the opportunity for white as fast as possible winning this knight? Because now the black queen is keeping the knight. <laughs> Restriction for long as he's not following the rules of chat. Knight f5 looks good. Again, yeah, no king moving. <laughs> we have a Reti next. We have a Mikhail Tau against Rudolf, but not Anna Rudolf. We have a Rudolf Teschner. <laughs> Teschner. Kicks out. <laughs> 95. Okay. Um, yay! That boy I didn't see you a long time ago. 
95 looks interesting, but I'm not sure how how winning it is. Is it is it winning piece H4 and H5? Can I push here? Yeah, looks looks winning. Yeah, you, you just try to take. Cannot move away the queen. Okay, if queen G4, we can simply take. Yeah, he just did it into the most simplest way. So queen G6. 11 years French maybe he talk about the French in chess <laughs> oh that's too, too much years big match tomorrow exactly big match tomorrow and now 95 guys just um, I don't know more flexible maybe when the king is already here because we have a check so 95 or first queen g6 a little bit better move order okay i jump to the next game mm -hmm. all right so we keep going with more analysis Set up. Michal mm -hmm. Tau against Rudu Teschner, Hamburg, 1960. Knight f3, f6, g3, b6. We start with the knight to f3. Muskalenko. Oh, Moskalenko was... Uh, I see him in every single tournament when I've been um, coach of the girls in Dubai. So uh, I know I know Moskalenko. Uh, Viktor Moskalenko. And he's... Uh, yeah, probably he's a great coach there. It's like King's Indian attack for white. So we start, yeah, with ready opening, King's Indian attack. One of the best setup, what I recommend for Mr. Jingles, also for the bullet style. So this setup is very good, very easy, very fast for the bullet playing for white side. Now lives in Spain, right? I have no idea. I saw him last time in uh, Dubai and or Sharjah coach, I'm not sure, or... or... Or another club coach. I'm not sure which uh, array of Arabian uh, is uh, he coach. But probably he's there with the family a long time ago. Like uh, Aran Sabia from Cuba. Or I'm not sure. Aran Sabia. Actually, to be a coach in these European countries, guys, uh, it's not that easy. And uh, you cannot leave the country or you cannot play any more so competitive, good and so often tournaments. You're just their coach, you have contract and you have less vacation period. So, <clears throat> like you have the ticket to the moon and you're just on the moon. <laughs> you cannot go back to the tournaments. Knight c3. There, there, there is no one analysis here so much. F4. Uh, so white is going to the more effort on the king side part here because it's king's king's um already opening king's Indian attack. <laughs> you bought them 11 other books. Your improvement is coming then. D two ninety four, G five, Queen E eight, E one. You can see how all the white pieces are centralized, and jumping to the king side part. Well, looks like black uh, play without idea. So some people looks like uh, using such a strategy. They're just waiting for the 6th, 7th rank. Occupy and just play solid. 
but solid and playing passive are two different things guys so i shouldn't recommend for you to waiting for nothing to waiting for uh you have to choose uh useful moves little improvement moves but not completely waiting for because waiting for is connected with the passive playing even after a quiet opening Tao has managed to build a promising attacking position which is and faced by his next move. What's thou next move? Let's check out your activity, guys. How do you feel in this position? France, Bulgaria, three. Smyslov is a great writer too, probably having good books. You find it in German in 30 minutes game? Yeah. Giri. Jackson is a huge fan of Giri. Giri, Giri, Giri. Guys, I'm waiting for your response, waiting for your uh, next move too. You can use your channel points to go through the correct move, of course. And at the same time, give me any continuation. Give me any depth into the chat.
Let me see. What are your suggestions? Can they do two more than 96? Yeah, I, I find out that 95. I, I'm a little surprised that you, your suggestion was about quiz moving. Um, so knight f5, probably we should go a little bit deeper. Um, knight f5. G takes f5. So we have a suggestion of Wagoner. Um, interesting move. Oh, make me a dab, Lucas. <laughs> there we go. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still looking for what what's your next suggestion? F six, not X F six, queen G five check, forcing King a cheat. Yeah, F6 is gonna be covering like this and then Queen G5. Okay, let me see what they gave us. They said also another alternative could be Bishop takes H6, but then Knight takes H6, King G7, Knight F5. King H8, D4. White dominates in the center. So nothing special, there is no the blood King side attacking, but. Shopping on eBay. <laughs> okay. So the main line is, of course, if black is accepting the knight. E takes f5. We should take g2 in between move. Bishop takes g2. And now, uh, what is. Do, do you have. Do you have this variation, guys? Mm -hmm. What's the best white next continuation? You have about four candidates, I guess. A very strong move for white side. Very strong. Let's go. Don't collect only books, try to find out moves. Moves are the most important thing in chess. Not book collectors. <laughs> Keep passion. You, you recognize this, okay. But, is there anything else more interesting? As I mentioned, you have about four candidates, what you can pay attention. These are my four candidates, without reading the book. These are my four candidates, without spending a second. F takes E6. Hmm. Exactly. Because you keep going with this, you keep going with this, you keep going with this. It's more and more and more pressure. F takes E6. This intermediate move, what we have in 50 strategy uh, tricks book, this intermediate move enables white no regained peace as e6, e7. Boom! Actually, we have this more powerful move, like taking the hook in our pocket as force as possible. Black is provoked to capture back, then we just take back this, and what do we have in the end? The dust has settled. White has a clear advantage as Black's king has been seriously weakened and the e6 pawn is vulnerable. Rook takes f1. Takes f1, queen e7. Bishop takes, king takes. Queen e3, knight e5. d4, knight g6. By the way, knight takes c4, question mark, why? Why knight takes c4 is catastrophic, or we can say also poisoned pawn. 
What should be the White Snake's continuation? It's forbidden to capture. Wow, love is used. Hydrate. <laughs> Hydrate command. It's incredible. Queen 2 then 95. Wow. Insane. Wagoner again is much, much, much faster than the others. Queen 2. Way to go. Make me a death. <laughs> Logis tried to make me think crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna lose where I am. We need two guys. Boom, boom, boom. 95, d5, queen g4. Very, very nice move. Most of all, 95, yes. It's kind of fork now. Okay, if I just run away somewhere, knight f6. Bring the queen here, I go here, and the game is over. Make me dab again. <laughs> I'm gonna time out Logis, looks like, soon. <laughs> Did Logis lose some uh, bet, or uh, I missed something? <laughs> Make a dab. How many times I should move my uh, hands? Saving for playing French, yes. Uh, I don't know. Did, did I miss something on the way? <laughs> Logis lost some bet. Yes, yes, I was asking, yes. I was wondering, not asking, but I was wondering. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a rain, exactly. All right, so boom, 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 twenty three, ninety five, ninety six, rook e one, rook e eight. Push. Next move is pushing. Try to be annoying against the knight, and of course, knight is super limited. He just have two free squares around where to go. Black knight is shooting his king, so Tau prepares to drive it away. C five. Knight e4, we try to work on the weak squares too. So brings the knight closer to the enemy king and black has no good answer. h6, h5, knight f8, knight f4, e5, push. Hmm. Queen g4 check. I, I mean... The, this is almost close to the over. <laughs> Queen g4, king g8, d5, push. Rook d8, rook f1. Knight h7. Queen g6, we go up and up and up. Tau forces an easily winning rook ending, easily winning rook ending, but in which move order, not capture direct, of course, step on the seventh rank with the rook is one of the most important things. And there we go, we trade off even the knights, even the knights. Hey, hey, Jerry, Emil, how are you doing? King f3. Let me see what's mean easily winning this endgame. Maybe, maybe it's easy just for, for them. King g4. We try to go in this way or either this way or just winning goes to this. King takes g5. Push e4. What's the best defense? Is it a counterattacking now? And give me suggestions, of course, because now this is one of the most important moments in the game. 
It is. <laughs> Black King is less than active. Okay. If you vote for any of these answers, guys, you should uh, be able to continue into the correct way or give me suggestions in the chat. Because when I gave you moves, I, I gave you hints. King h6, e3, rook h7, e2, g7. Yeah, but g7 is not a checkmate. I can already promote. g7 promote, rook h8 check, king f7. I have already queen, if you meant this. Push, here, push, push, queen. I have already queen. I don't think so this is working because rook h8 is not a checkmate, king f7. I just answered to Logis. <laughs> attack and counterattack. Both are attack, okay. <laughs> I tried to cheat the chat. I tried to cheat the chat. I just tried to push you to think more uh, attacking way. <laughs> Uh, guys, I, I mean, do, do you want to stop the pawn just like this, the, the simplest way? Or you want to push up the king? Or you want to push up the pawns? What do you want to do? King h6. Everyone wish to go to h6. That, that, that's incredible. Rook f6, rook e6. Um. Okay, I will answer to slash, so rook f6, let's count together. e3, rook e6, I trade off, you take back. E2, E7, E1. A am I faster than you, Zlatch? What about this? What about pushing G pawn? Pushing G pawn, uh oh. You need more time about pushing G pawn. So, where is the key moment then, guys? Where is the counter attacking way? Okay, j just that king f6 looks better than king h6, alright, I'm, I'm completely agree, but what is the continuation next? Okay, king f6, of course they gotta push, so what's next? The battle finish, counterattack 5 people, attack 5 people, longest contribute 300 channel points. Okay, thank you guys for <laughs> voting. Why King F6 looks better? I'm still waiting for the most comfortable response. Do you think so? You have a mating pattern, you can promote faster than me, or you still have to go for a defending style? Yes, but Rook G7 is it treasure? I just go to the corner and you cannot kick me out so easy. Yeah, do you have a mating pattern? Or you just stay beautiful in F6? <laughs> What's the idea behind King F6? G7, King K8, King H7. No, I will not go to F8, Ferdi. I will go to the corner. I will not allow King H7. Ah, King H8, Rook H7, King G8, G7. Yes, I promote. And Rook H8 is not a checkmate. We gain a tempo. Okay, I will show you that you gain nothing. Oh, yeah, 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 you're all right. You gain a tempo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I, if I come here, by the way, you cannot promote because I just take it. Um, if, if you come here, 
maybe I just come here and now I'm attacking this pawn. Yes, yes, I'm agreeing. What is the difference between counterattack and attack? They both are attacking. <laughs> I answer you. I try to cheat the, the chat, but not really. Let's say attack could be um, direct, like what you try to do here, here, push, let's promote, come on, let's promote. And counter attack could be, uh, or attack could be also at the same time you activate the king and trying to stop the pawn. And this could be more like counter attack, like you go through, uh, promote your pawn and you stop caring about this pawn. This is the difference between. And attack could be just at the same time you try to stop the pawn and you keep going with attacking. Actually, most of all, we have just attacking. Counter attack doesn't work. So, this variation doesn't work one more time based on the fact that I just have this move. And then e2. Or then rook g8 and e2 again. So the correct move, guys, the difference between king f6 and king h6 is from the earth to the moon. From the earth to the moon. Just somebody mentioned that king f6 is more beautiful than king h6. You, it's forbidden to talk about this in chess. Yes, could be more beautiful, but support with the variation behind. Not just like <laughs> you make up the face and you're more beautiful <laughs> than h6. It's okay. It's a great monument. But why? Why? What's behind this move? <laughs> What's behind this move? Are you Britney Spears or who are you to, to go to King F6? Why? Why this is more beautiful than King H6? Where is the difference between? <laughs> okay, guys. Rook G7 check. King of eight. And now we jump to Pamela Anderson. Rook H7. Another beautiful move. Try the checkmate. <laughs> King G7. King G8. <laughs> so the more. Rook H1. This is the attacking what I'm talking about. So at the same time you're attacking me, but you don't go for a dreaming position. Uh, with the g7 and go here, it's pretty early. It's too rush decision, two seconds rule. So you care about this pawn at the same time. So if there is an e2 question mark, boom. Now this is a counter attacking. Only if opponent blunder. Only if opponents blunder like that. If he's going to play king f8, we keep going with our attacking chances here. Boom! The game is over because D pawn looks like unstoppable because we have more than one pass pawn. We have about three pass pawns. And also this is gonna be deflection in some moment. Like let's check out if the time is enough. Of course time is not enough. And you can make fun even with take here or direct promoting of queen. Hey hey! Helpful Nelson! Happy to see you! Happy to see you! I just crossed the third game. Uh, next is Leipzig Olympiad. It's a very uh, interesting book, by the way. We cross already 54th page. 